All right, welcome to the Hump Day Show. We are the Three Way Podcast, guys. Every Wednesday, we come at you with different topics, different uh, things we do. Uh, re- like, replays, review, discuss. reviews, uh, let's play. So, yeah, um, this week, we are talking about the return of the NBA, uh, the restart, the bubble. The whole phenomenon has continued, uh, and and we are seeing it uh, is going on, and it's been entertaining so far. So um, we are going to give our thoughts on the restart and and see what do we think is going to happen in the after all is said and done, who is going to be in the playoffs. So um, let's start with so far with the games that have happened. What do you what do you think so far? So I, I know the first game was uh, Los Angeles versus the LA Clippers, and then it was New Orleans. Um, versus uh, um, Utah. So these were important games. Right off the bat, New Orleans has to win. Uh, I believe in the standings, they're too far. Well, at the beginning, they weren't too far off from the eighth seed, but they did lose to Utah. That hindered them from even having a good chance of getting the eighth seed. So hold on. So so real Mm -hmm. quick, like, these games, the standings are set, but now there's, like, these seeding games. Right, eight yes. games. Everyone has these seeding games. What exactly does that mean? So basically, what that means it's not really seeding games. When they stop the season, mm-hmm. uh, each in the West, and this is mostly because of the West. In the mm-hmm. West, there were one to two games behind each other. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people didn't think it was fair that just to, to just start the playoffs and then have those seedings when everyone's one to two games away. So then yeah, they yeah. started to have eight games uh-huh. in that. And so they had the eight seed, but the ninth. 10th and 11th seed were one game away. Yeah. From, from, no, from in the West, other. is worse. Uh, mm-hmm. 8 through 13 are literally like... Uh, Two games away. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, they're all... Am I tripping? Uh, no, you're not. You're not. That's the way it's been set up. The West is a cold-blooded ass division. Oh, four um, games away. So, right. I mean, after, this is including some of the seeding games. But, uh, yeah, they're all close. Well, so, it's, it, it's going to change because right now, as we speak, as we speak, Memphis just lost. Oh, wow. So, New Orleans just won. So, uh, th- that is going to mess with the seedings uh, uh, right off the bat. There's not much you can do about it. In the West, it's so jam-packed. So, I mean, from 8 through 13, you have the competitive. Then you got teams still still jockeying for those better positions, right? Correct, uh, correct. You know, from... Uh, two to seven. I mean, those teams are only five games off. I mean, it, it, it'll be hard for the Dallas Mavericks to get, uh, you know, to the LA Clippers, but it's possible. I mean, they're it's all possible. within that range. If they win and the, the, and the Clippers, okay. win, and, that, and that's the thing with the bubble, anything can happen because it's essentially the start of a new season. So let me just go ahead and, and start from the very beginning. No, no, no. But real quick, let me mention like in the East, you really only have nine teams playing. Uh, Charlotte automatically those team other teams downward aren't even playing because they got no playing. chance. No, they're uh, playing. Like Washington Wizards are playing, um, and and the and the Wizards pretty, are playing. Yeah, and the and that's it. Like really, yeah. really, the West is pretty much uh, uh, put in place. They're just fighting for seeding right now, and even even so, they're each like four, two to four games apart from each other. Mm. So it's still good distance, and you still got to play eight games. Some of these games, some of these play, teams have already played at least three games. So we know for a fact that uh, things are a little bit tighter. But but in the East, it doesn't matter as much simply because of the fact that it's a lot it's a lot more spread out than it is in the West. So uh, when when the season started, uh, as I said, New Orleans had a chance to get that eight seed. They lost to Utah, and then the Lakers beat the Clippers uh, on the last seconds. Um, so right now, the scene has been changing these past couple of days. Uh, we know the Houston Rockets have played two games. They did beat uh, the uh, Dallas Mavericks and the Milwaukee Bucks. Instead of being the sixth seed, they are now the fourth seed uh, currently right now. So these are just the standing guys. We have in the Western Conference, we have the Los Angeles Clippers uh, at number one. Number two, the LA, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, the LA Lakers. And then number two is the LA Clippers. Number three is the Denver Nuggets. Number four, currently right now, are the Houston Rockets. Then we have the Utah Jazz. Then we have OKC. Then we have the Dallas Mavericks at number seven. And then the Memphis Grizzlies at eight. And then we have San Antonio uh, three games below them. Uh, Portland Blazers two games below them. 
And the uh, New York Pelicans were three games below them. Now they're two games below them. They just beat them right now. And then we have Sacramento Kings and the Phoenix Suns trying to fight uh, into somewhat of that position. <clears throat> That's crazy. So it's crazy. Like, the, the last seeding is tight. And honestly, from seven to one in the West, they're just fighting for playoff seeding. The Lakers, not so yeah, much. Yeah. They're five games ahead of everybody. So even if yeah, they yeah, yeah. lose four games, they'll still be good. Um, and, and yeah, they would have to like collapse. Uh, correct. In correct. order for this to, for them to lose that number one spot. I mean, they did lose to Toronto Raptors. Was a big surprise. I got to give credit to Toronto where they're at. I didn't think they would be this good without Kawhi Leonard. Um, I really don't. I still don't think they're gonna make that much of a big splash. Everyone's like, oh, they're going to the Eastern Conference Final. I don't think so. I think they're still a superstar away from that. But they're gonna make some noise in the playoffs. Well, for sure. I mean, I think we can't. Uh, you know, That's just, true too. just call him off either. I think they're still a competitive team. They want to win. They want to prove people wrong. They're hungry. Uh, even though they won the Super Bowl uh, last season, they, Super they Bowl. won more. Super uh, Bowl. Uh, uh, the, the NBA championship. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, wrong sport. Uh, but even though they won it, I feel like they still want to win it to prove people wrong that they kind of don't need Kawhi, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like they're hungry, but so I'm, I'm not saying they're the best out there, but I'm not saying, like, throw them away either. No, no, I, I, understandably so. From what my point of view here currently, I think the West is pretty much set from seven to first. Uh, yeah. They're just fighting for seeding. I really believe the Houston Rockets will pass the Denver Nuggets for the third, third seed. I think mm -hmm. Houston Rockets will be the third seed. Uh, Denver Nuggets have already lost two games. Now, that's bad. Uh, uh, that's really bad on their part. They're, now they're 44 and 23, and the Rockets are 42 and 24. So they're not that far behind from the Denver Nuggets. But don't count out the Utah Jazz, uh, who have an important game today um, that's ongoing. Then we have OKC, who's not that far behind. They're 41 and 25 as well. So all of this is just seedings right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think home field matters. I think who you play matters now. So at first it was home court advantage, whatever. whatever. Yeah. No. Now, now it's just like. Who, who do you want to face in the first round and face in the second round? Uh, so that's where we are with the West. Now, in the East, it's a little bit more easier. You have Milwaukee Bucks on the first, first seeding. Then you have, surprisingly, the Toronto Raptors, but they're too far out. They're 48 and 18. Milwaukee is 54 and 13. Yeah, no I way. Think they're, that, they're... I don't think they're going to catch up. Uh, and then you have the Boston Celtics, Celtics, who are four games behind Toronto, which is 44 and 22. And then you have Miami Heat, who's two games away, 42 and 25 on the fourth seed. So those are your top four. Then you have the Indiana Pacers right behind Miami at 41 and 26. Then Philly, which surprisingly the sixth seed. Philly has been one of the one of the worst teams in the East simply because of the fact they had such high expectations, even from me. I thought Philly would be able to get into that uh, contender status. Not so much. We'll see. Like I said, we mentioned it in the bubble. Anything can happen. Uh, but Philly, 39 and 27. And then you have the Orlando Magic, 32 and 35. And then uh, uh, Brooklyn Nets at 31 and 35. So it's a little bit set. It's just four, five, six, and seven are just fighting to see who's going to be in those those uh, scenes. But they're, those are, I think those are the main ones. I don't think Washington Wizards at 24 and 43 are, <laughs> are going to make it to the playoffs. So pretty much they're just fighting for seeding in the East one through eight on how they're going to say there are no real contenders for that eight seed not like the west where it's the, that eight seed is not up for yeah. it's not set it's still being moved around and who knows but uh we have been watching a couple of games here uh as you know i i, I mentioned previously you had the the new orleans uh versus utah and utah won very important game for new orleans and they lost and you had la at los angeles and then um on that very next friday just for seeding you had boston at milwaukee uh, 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 and Boston lost due to a controversial call if you watch the game. Then you have Memphis at Portland, and Memphis was beating down Portland, and Portland comes right back and beats them at the very end uh, due to Carmelo Anthony uh, and his couple of late threes that he did. Also, you have Houston at Dallas, another important game for CD, and Houston Rockets playing their small ball uh, and winning. Um, the way they won in Dallas, they should not have won that game against Dallas. They came back in the fourth quarter. Then they also faced Milwaukee and also came back in the fourth quarter. And mostly, surprisingly, due to their defense, uh, offensively, D'Antoni has all to say, but defensively, he sucks ass. But apparently, Houston Rockets are playing some D. I've been watching the game, folks, and 
I, I can honestly say their defense has stepped up the game. I don't think they're overhyping their defense. I think they're lazadaisical at times. Um, specifically, James Harden, he has improved, but there's times he just lollygags, dude. Like straight up lollygags. Like he lets people blow past him in random ass moments, but he did come back uh, against Dallas and make that big three at the very end. Um, and then we had that tip in from Covington at the last second. Uh, you know, you, you got you got to him, uh, you know, talking shit to uh, uh, Jonas Antetokounmpo, and he was defending Jonas Antetokounmpo at the very end of the fourth quarter last night. And yeah. he did a very good job. He even stripped the ball uh, to make that game-winning uh, pass to uh, uh, Russell Westbrook. So we have that. Then you, of course, um, as I mentioned, you have Philadelphia, Indiana, and Indiana surprisingly beating the shit out of Philly. Um, I, I believe the, the guy's last name is Warren. Just 53 points. Like, incredible. Um, OKC beating Utah, an important game in the seedings. Now uh, OKC has a chance to even move up to the fourth seed. Uh, you had Miami at Denver. Miami beating Denver. As I said, Denver has not been playing well. They try to do that Bolo Bolo lineup with that uh, their all their bigs and shit like that. Well, they got hammered. Uh, and then, surprisingly, LA loses to Toronto, uh, which, you know, I don't think was supposed to happen. Uh, but then you have Phoenix beating Dallas to come right around that corner, 117 to 115, to get to that fight, to that AC. So now they're in that fight. And, and they have a good squad, young, good squad. It wouldn't surprise me at all if Phoenix makes it. I still think the Trailblazers have a lot to say. Tomorrow's an important game. I know we're recording here on um, on Monday. Tomorrow's uh, well, tomorrow's Tuesday, so it's going to be Houston versus Trailblazers, and that's a very important game from Trailblazers. They cannot afford to lose many games, and the Rockets cannot afford to lose. So it's going to be a playoff atmosphere. You also have the backstory with Russell Westbrook and uh, um, uh, Dame Lillard, uh, you know, the bye-bye that Dame Lillard gave. So that's going to be an interesting game tomorrow. Um, and currently right now, we're about, uh, you know, four days off. Uh, today, right now, as we speak, we have San Antonio versus Philadelphia. Uh, and, you know, from the looks of it here, from what I'm reviewing, uh, 76ers are winning. Then again, the Spurs aren't the Spurs of old. So I, it doesn't surprise me. But you also have the Lakers versus the Utah Jazz. And once again... The Utah Jazz cannot afford to lose games. It's playoff seeding time, baby. And the Lakers, if they lose this game, they're four games away from the LA Clippers if they lose this game. And I think the LA Clippers have a lot to say. I know Lou Williams was eating wings, but once he comes back uh, uh, from that, that debacle, I think he'll be great. Uh, then we have a mantra, uh, uh, I think, Harold coming back as well. So you have that in the works. So the Clippers are just going to get better. Um, and from what I'm seeing here, it's just all up for grabs. Every game has been competitive. I know a lot of people don't like the NBA because of the referees. To be honest, the referees have not been an issue at all. Okay, uh, well, they, they've except for made one bad game. calls. It's, they've it's made bad one game. calls. Uh, maybe they haven't decided many of these games, but... My problem with refereeing in the NBA is that when it comes to playoff time, they're too involved. Uh, this is when you have the best teams going up against each other. The games get physical, all right? Playoff game is a whole other intensity, and the refs are just too involved. They don't let them play. It, uh, it hasn't I think I can come kind to of agree to that. Um, the, like the bad call they made against uh, uh, Boston Russell State. Westbrook. Where the guy, I mean, oh. he's literally falling out of bounds and they call the foul on him. Like, what are, what are these refs doing? Like, I, I think we need some o more oversight on these guys. But you're But right. they have challenges. They have challenges. That's the beautiful thing about the NBA. Now there are challenges. The thing is, for example, when James Harden did the offensive foul uh, in Milwaukee and the coach had to challenge it because you don't want your best player to leave the game. And unfortunately, it was the right call. Uh, so it's not like the refs have too much power now. The coaches can challenge. They just have to be specific on what to yeah. challenge. And I think that's where the chess lies. Because this is a checkers. This is chess. So you have to, do I want to use this now? Or do I want to hold off onto this yeah, 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 when it's most course. important? So that is there. And I think it hasn't hindered the games at all. It really yeah, hasn't. Right. And, and it's been kind of cool to see them win sometimes um, or lose. Because the way they do it is they, they know they're wrong, but they have to try to give their best shot to see what the referee says. So, um, No, but you're right. The games have been really competitive. Uh, everybody knows. Like, just giving them eight games and saying, hey, this is eight games, 
this decides where you're going to be at. Like, it, it, I, I like it. It, it, it kind of – there's a last-minute feel to uh, these yeah. games. Like, it's either win or go home uh, for those eight positions. And, hey, uh, win and you, you get better seating. So, um, it's and, entertaining, man. These, yeah, these really teams is. are out to prove something. And, and it, the the – Basket the 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 playing is at a very high level. Um, well, I can say this. I think that this, regardless of of what's happening, even though it is a regular season, still, it feels like almost every game is a playoff game. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, yeah. very good experience for those younger teams in the West, like the Phoenix Suns, the Sacramento Kings, where they're getting that. Hey, each game they need to win, and we need to win. And, and someone has to come out out of this. And so that's why I think these games are so competitive. Um, and it's just crazy to see how good these games – I thought that the games were going to be bad. But let's go ahead and talk about the actual atmosphere of, of these games with the bubble courts. Honestly, I don't mind it. I honestly feel, you know, that, yes, the fans are missing. Yeah. I agree with that. that yeah. That's a given. You know, you can't take that away. But yeah. I honestly do feel like the game itself is still the same. Yeah, it's still competitive. You find out like who they're attacking. You keep and the, and the, the, I think the environment they're giving these guys the the screens on the walls like these guys Good put the idea, money into, in my opinion. Good yeah, these, these guys put the money into the court and it shows it's paying off. Uh, it, it, yeah, you're right. It's missing that fan atmosphere that makes the games uh, really cool. But uh, I mean, dealing with that, they dealt with it really very well. Um, what, last thing I want to bring up is, all right, so it's the restart. We're about to start playoffs. I want to know who you think is coming out as uh, conference champions from the East and the West. So looking here at the teams, I honestly think the LA Clippers are going to come out uh, on, on the Western you Conference. You think the Clippers, after that showing they had against the Lakers? Well, they didn't have uh, they didn't have Lou Williams, which is their go-to That's second That's Lou Williams? That's what and, you're saying will change and, the game? I and don't they know. Have Mont- they didn't have Montrezl Harrell, and All those right. are two good players. And That's true. That's the, true. The, and the Lakers barely beat them by two points on a lucky rebound that came right back to LeBron's hands. If that ball would have gone another way, it would have gone overtime. Hey, it wait, right. hey, and don't get it twisted. Paul George looks healthy than a motherfucker. Paul George Finally. looks healthy. And this dude is killing, killing it. Um, I don't know. It's taking Kawhi a little bit of time to get it, but I still yeah, think Yeah, Kawhi's still... looking out of whack, but it's only been a couple of games. Yeah, not... but I, I honestly think uh, the only team out of the West that will give the LA Clippers and LA Lakers a problem would be the Houston Rockets. And I honestly think the Houston Rockets can't beat anybody, even the LA Clippers. I don't know if they can beat them four times uh, like they need to. Um, but I know that they'll they'll give the LA Clippers a scare. Uh, but I honestly am not afraid of the Lakers. If the Houston Rockets go against the Lakers, I think it's a very good matchup for the Houston Rockets and they take advantage and win. I think um, the Denver Nuggets, something's going on with the Denver Nuggets. They have a squad. I just, I don't know what, it's like they don't have that killer instinct, I, th- mm. I think. And that's the issue. With the Utah Jazz, it's very weird. No, no, no. All right. Uh, so, who are you picking out of the West, man? Well, out of, uh, of the West, I'm picking the LA Clippers. Out of the right. East, I'm still going with the, the main, that bad man, Giannis, Giannis Antetokounmpo from Milwaukee Bucks. I really do. Bad think man, Milwaukee he Bucks. got shut down by Harden. What are you talking about? Hey, that's hard, dog. Harden to be, be, be. He got skinny <laughs> and swole, and he's holding yeah, it down, yeah. so he's taking okay. it seriously. But uh, Anthony Cooper will get his shit together. Yeah, I really think that he will win. Um, the difference between you know Toronto Raptors will give them a scare, I think, but I think this is Milwaukee's year. I really, yeah, do. yeah, I agree. Out of the East, I got Milwaukee. I think they're gonna, you know, yeah, Toronto's good, Boston's okay, but. Just Milwaukee's on another level. Uh, they're going to take the East easily. Uh, the West is where, man, that is a lot of competition. Um, and yeah. But I got the L.A. Lakers coming out on top. I feel like as the games go by, that uh, chemistry uh, that that team has is only going to get better. Um, and I feel like, yeah, they're – I feel like LeBron really wants it, bro. I feel like this is the one he wants. Oh, he wants it. Yeah. He's not going to get it, but he wants it. He uh, we'll wants see. It. We'll see. But I, I think it's going to be the Lakers. I got the Lakers beating Milwaukee in the championship. Uh, but, yeah. 
All right, guys. Any last uh, notes you want to put in? Hey, man, I really hope Phoenix gets into the the playoffs. It'll be interesting to see Phoenix be a playoff team. Ever since the 90s, I haven't seen them. <laughs> Phoenix? Nah, man, I would like... Uh... I would like Portland to make it, man. I feel Portland is an exciting team. They've shown they can win in the playoffs. I would like them to take that eight seed. Uh, New Orleans would be cool too. Uh, Zion in the playoffs in the eight that, seed. Yeah. Not that he's gonna maybe do much, but it'll still be entertaining to see, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's been our NBA talk. Uh, the NBA restart. It's all back. Are you guys glad about that? Do you not care? Who do you think is gonna take the championship? Comment right below like share help us out subscribe you can catch us on all your podcast channels you can catch us on youtube thank you guys i'm low i'm los your host with the most that's jp aka linkster 101 thank you guys for watching peace peace out guys